What's going on guys? It's Ryan Smetz here and you know last night I had my fantasy football draft so I missed out on night number one of fantasy sweet week of The Bachelorette. So let's get you caught up to speed with Ryan Watches The Bachelorette on a bike. The recap edition. So we kick off with knowing that ABC has made things incredibly complicated by deciding to have a two-parter on Monday and Tuesday night this week for Fantasy Sweet Week, then next week having a Tuesday night part one finale, and then a part two finale the week after that. So that we wrap up the season in this wild and crazy gobbledygook of scheduling on air. Six men remain. We show up at Riviera Maya. We've got our six guys there. They make their way into all their rooms. They're super excited. Tino's pumped. Zach is kind of just like, all right, this is like a Hilton, but on an island. Avon shows up. He's excited, partially because he only got five minutes of airtime for his hometown episode during the Men Tell All slash ABC infomercial slash Virgin Cruise Line infomercial. But Avon gets the first one-on-one -on -one date with Rachel, which is oddly enough on a yacht, even though they've spent a majority of the season on a cruise ship. They're really setting up Avon to not win here. We have Avon and Rachel on the yacht. Then we have Gabby and Eric on what is called the Lover's Leap. It's an opportunity for you to climb up the whole thing of steps and take this gigantically high leap into this really gross kind of swampy water vibe. The two of them bond over that. They have a great time and they move on, which by the way, Eric, mullet, Gabby decides to go for this like braided pigtail look the most American hairstyles there are. They decide to have a charcuterie board dinner with like cheddar cheese and sausage and bologna and things that I just saw on the plate that I was like, yeah, this doesn't look entirely appetizing for being a week and a half out from getting down on one knee. Meanwhile, we come back to the Riviera Maya Resort. Tino talking to Jesse Palmer about the fact that he's a little bit uneasy about the concept of Fantasy Sweet Week. He doesn't feel comfortable about what's going on behind the scenes, and he's a little worried about the commitment strategy here. But Jesse decides, I'm gonna extract all of those feelings out of Tino and make him feel even more concerned and worried. <laughs> Avon gets asked by Rachel about engagement, and just like all the other guys, he's pretty darn uncomfortable about it. Rachel and Tino go on their one-on-one -on -one date. They go horseback riding to kick it off. Feels not very Riviera Maya, feels very Sharpsburg, Maryland. Rachel decides to confront Tino on the whole family situation because, well, if you remember a couple weeks ago, Tino's hometown, not the most comfortable experience at all. Tino also then gives the most unconfident response by saying, hey, you know, they'll come around after a little while. You just have to kind of get more comfortable with them, which in reality makes some sense. I kind of agree with him. It takes some time sometimes for, you know, partners in relationships to get acquainted with the family members. But it wasn't a very convincing response. He was also sounding kind of scared, a little bit nervous at the same time. We also don't even want to go about the fact that Tino was soaking wet sweated the entire time as he's having the conversation. Then we move on to Gabby and Johnny's one-on-one, -on -one, or lack thereof. Gabby and Johnny get together on the beach, they sit down, and they get right down to business. Gabby asks him the engagement question, he says, eh, not really ready for that in about a week or so. They decide to break up, Johnny's left out on the beach, and assumedly, I guess, ends up going straight to paradise? Like, do they just throw him on a little boat and he just, wee, goes all the way to Bachelor in Paradise? I'm only assuming that's the case. They've got boats that are sponsoring this show at this point, why not? And then we end with the note from Eric asking Gabby to meet her on the bridge. He reveals to her that he's not comfortable with the fact that she has not yet fully committed to him. And we get the nice, glorious, early 2000s sitcom text at the bottom that says, to be continued. And that's where we're left off for tonight's episode of The Bachelorette on ABC, part two of Fantasy Sweet Week. Then next week, of course, on Tuesday night, we got part one of the finale. And then the following week, part two of the finale. And then we're all the way into Bachelor in Paradise. We ain't stopping, y'all. Ryan watches The Bachelorette on a bike recap edition. See y'all soon.